That's a good story. When I met Geert, I thought he was a teacher. And so automatically you put someone in a box, teacher. Then when I when he came, when I came into his apartment, uh, I saw these weird things. Some of them like uh, uh, sculptures cast in uh, in stone. You had to step over, and I had no clue, nothing about all of that. And then you spoke. No the, art background the famous whatsoever. Words. And then, <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we were married already. Don't even think that I'm going to to like to like this work. Don't and then I thought, don't even think that I will marry you if <laughs> you are not converted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told him straight away that people are famous for that. If if you have something on your mind you, you, you speak your mind. You just speak your mind. So, yeah, I told him, uh, uh, yeah, he, he actually was too small, red hair, uh, and uh, what else? Pretty young still. Too small, red hair, oh, and too young, too young. For my perception, Sorry, what should a, a man that you are going to marry, maybe, be like? And so he did not confirm to any of those the, criteria. Those standards were far and, out of my league. And then the the art, uh, well, maybe it was art, I had no idea. But he had been already to the uh, Academy of Art, so he had lots and lots of work in his apartment. And then when he invited me to, uh, to go under... Uh, was it uh, yeah, in that was the school was the school basement in the school basement he uh, he was working uh, during the weekend often and uh, so I said yeah I'd like to join you uh, if I can be of any help and then uh, when I saw that he was sweating and uh, with the clay and plaster like putting his heart and soul into what was coming there, if it would work. And so gradually I got the idea, oh, that this is, yeah, uh, unbelievable. And then every time when I was to, to help out... Um, yeah, which you did already. Yeah, in, in The Hague. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In The Hague. Uh, the only thing I hated about that was when he started doing sculpture on the attic in that uh, uh, in our own upstairs uh, living space and when I just cleaned everything and he started sculpture and I thought oh mess always a mess and dusty and well look in his uh, studio here you see what a mess and how dusty and I, dirty I keep it, it like this on purpose because then nobody <laughs> dares to come in <laughs> so yeah, that's my background of n knowing nothing about it and then starting to, like, your eyes open and you see, you gradually take it in and then your brain starts to, to, to see, oh, what a complicated thing. And over the years, Every time when we went uh, to other artists or studios or exhibitions, I would get more, and so I am pretty good now. Uh, when he good. when he worked here in the studio on on clay work, and uh, I, I would hardly bother him because I know it's his process that he is doing, and so. Uh, when I would walk in for bring coffee or bring food or whatever, he used to work all day and, and day, every day out of the bedroom, breakfast, studio, all day. And so uh, 
then if I would just walk around and say nothing about what he was working on, he said, oh, I knew. I still I, had to work quite a bit. <laughs> I still have to work, because I would see it. Because and if it is good, I'll walk then oh. I Then, well, I would look at it from all the sides, and all if I animals, would yeah. exclaim, wow, then he knew. It's about uh, <laughs> finished. Yeah, so yeah, but well, you taught me uh, where and how to look for things, all sides, turn them, uh, paintings also, turn them, turn them, look at it, look. And, and so I have learned... Yeah, you have to be able to analyze your work. If you cannot analyze your work, it's the dead, dead end. But it's so complicated to learn that, to learn it. And if people ask, are you an artist? I immediately want to yell, no, no. I'm, and I'll never be an artist. But when, when you, you cannot become an artist. But when you are one. Is coming here, you I are always one. get compliments how well she explains everything. They are constantly complimented. So I can talk about it, but I am no artist. And so, yeah, he is a born artist, uh, and That's what I, you say. I'm, I'm still learning. Know. I'm always learning.